Hello everybody, welcome back to the Wisconsin Greg Show. Uh, it's a beautiful Sunday afternoon here. It's uh, right around high noon right now. It's uh, The sun's right above me and uh, I'm trying to find a spot where it's not so sunny. Uh, so it's a kind of little hard filming out here, but it's a beautiful day. Uh, you might hear a lot of noise in the country. It comes and goes. Uh, been a lot of tractors running around and uh, neighbors loading up cattle and stuff like that. But uh, other than that, it's a beautiful day out here. Uh, so. I just thought I'd show you some of the stuff I've been doing this week and uh, uh, stuff I got to do yet and stuff. So I thought I'd give you a little tour around the area here and show you what I've been up to. Um, it's kind of hard at the beginning of the season to get going because it kept raining all the time, uh, but it's nice now. And then I was waiting for some wood chips for my garden. I got what they call a Back to Eden garden. Um, so it's basically just a garden with wood chips on it. Uh, it keeps all the weeds down and it uh, keeps it moister and uh, worms like it better. There's lots of worms in the soil, makes it good growing. So uh, I'll show you that and uh, show you some of the other stuff. Uh, as you can see, one of the things I did this week was gave myself a haircut. <laughs> uh, so that means summer's right, it's right around the corner here. It's gonna be really hot pretty soon. Uh, but it's beautiful today. Uh, motorcycles and everything are roaming around today. Uh, I've seen uh, sprayers and stuff, even on a Sunday, big companies out spraying, and I'm surprised they're out on a Sunday yet, especially this early. Uh, but the corn is uh, the, just starting to peek through, I see out in the fields, uh, so it's just starting to come through. Uh, some corn's been up a little bit further already, but the corn here is just starting to peek up. So let me turn this camera around. So I got my flower bed cleaned up a little bit this week and uh, put out my solar lights. Uh, got all different kinds of lights. And uh, this is what they call a clematis, I believe. And uh, it gets really, really beautiful purple flowers. Put up a hummingbird feeder a couple days ago. Haven't seen no hummingbirds yet. Uh, but I'm sure I'll be getting some pretty soon. Um, did plant a couple of uh, elephant ears that my brother gave me. Uh, they're great big bulbs. They look like the size of a softball. Uh, they haven't come up yet. I just planted them a couple days ago. And uh, I'm sure that's gonna take up most of the space here. And uh, right in front of them, I planted some um, mini sunflowers. And also in front of that, I planted some marigold seeds. They were older seeds of marigolds. I'm not sure if they'll grow or not, but uh, hopefully they will. And as you can see, we also have cactuses here in Wisconsin. A lot of people didn't know that, but these are cactuses. They stay out all winter, and uh, they come back every year. Uh, they spread quite a bit across the, uh, the ground, so every so often you got to thin them out. do have some uh, mums back there, but I'm not sure if they're going to make it or not this year. They've been in there a long, long time. There's a little bit of life in some of them, but not sure. This is uh, chives, or not yeah chives i uh plant it right near the house and in the garden where with the in the flower bed uh it kind of looks pretty nice i think in there um and then when i want chives i can just walk right up my door and snip some off with the scissors and come and get them um these are hostas they need some thinning out got to do that i don't know if i'll do that yet this spring or probably wait till fall now but thin them out and transplant some of them some other areas they're really, really good for along borders, um, for keeping the weeds down and stuff. So uh, I got a whole bunch of them planted along my barn. Actually, I'll go show you that right now. These are some houses I planted many, many years ago along here. Uh, and uh, they really do a good job at keeping the weeds down. I can mow them a d mower deck will go right underneath them, so I don't even have to weed eat, get the weed eater out here. And they do pretty good. And then uh, eventually in the f later in the summer, they'll get a little flower on them. They don't last too long, but a big stem will come out of there and you'll get a little flower. This is one of the things I'm going to be working on in the next week or two. Uh, getting all these trees down here by the barn. Things grow like weeds and doesn't take, if you miss a year or something, then pretty soon you got a big mess like this. So I got to get in here. I wanted to get this done before they planted. But since we had such a wet spring, it didn't work out. So, But I'll be careful and uh, take them out piece by piece and get them out of here. 
and then I'll burn them in the fall but they're sure coming in here quick and got to get them out of here before they start ruining the roof on the barn not that the barns in anything good shape but the roof is the best part <laughs> so anyways that's one thing I got to do here hopefully in the next week or two I did start on the east side of the barn already cutting some trees down and uh, in where the old cow yard used to be and there's a pile of brush still got some more to add to it and uh, like I said I'll burn that in the fall push it out into the field with the tractor after the crops are off and uh, burn her up that's my septic system and uh, about two weeks ago uh, I got clogged up right here uh, I had to dig down here uh, thanks to YouTube I figured out how to what the problem was and it was just uh, there's like a T in there and uh, so there's an access to it and you just have to open up the access dig down a ways and take the cover off and then uh, clear off clear out the paper uh, toilet paper got stuck in there so that that was another project of mine and come about a week two weeks ago something like that and uh, never that's never been opened before never had a clog like that before there was a lot of sludge in there, almost like grease, probably from grease buildup for over the years of cooking and stuff. So I got that all cleared out, and that's all running good now again. This is a little flower bed I had uh, full of lilies, and it was just plum packed. Uh, it was so grown that it wouldn't even hardly get flowers on it anymore. So early in the spring, I uh, dug the whole thing out and just thinned it all out to just a few lilies, so they'll. Be able to spread out again and do better uh, it does need some weeding again i see so that's another thing i got to do but um that's should be a lot better maybe not this year get too many flowers but the following year should be a lot better this is a later uh, lilac bush here that i planted uh, i thought it was supposed to be a white one but it's not uh, but it is pretty nice because uh, my other one gets froze off a lot it, it's an early one that one and uh, a lot of times they get froze off and the flowers don't make it but this one's always real later I don't know they must crossbreed it with something or something and it comes later and it's a lot better off for Wisconsin here because of the frost so it's still coming down here I got a cherry bush and uh, it's getting full of cherries already starting to if you can see them on there some on there coming and that thing will have so many cherries it keeps coming out for quite quite a long time in the summertime so I'm looking forward for them they're pretty nice apple trees need spraying I got to do that this week too a lot of stuff this coming week to do Here's the garden I put the wood chips on. Got over half of it, maybe close to three quarters of it planted. This following week I'll finish the rest of it. Uh, so far I got, let me see, I have to remember what I planted here. Down here I got um, Brussels sprouts and okra, lettuce there, um, bush style beans, uh, peas, Actually, it's peas and then bush style beans. My rows are really crooked, but I don't really care about that. <laughs> and I got sweet corn, a row of sweet corn there, and planted some pepper seeds, the green bell pepper seeds that are going to be for late peppers. They'll be pretty late, and I'll put some plants in too. In the next week or two, I'll put in some tomato plants and some actually pepper plants that are already grown, bigger ones already. Got more solar lights out. This is um, drew some artichokes. I thinned them all out. I thought I had hardly any left in there. Look at those things. You cannot, you can't get rid of those things. Those things are, they just keep spreading and spreading. And tilled this all up. This is, I'm going to plant some more stuff over here. 
and I'm not sure what I'm going to plant here. Probably some more sweet corn and carrots, and uh, I'm not sure. I got down here in the end here. I'll show you. I got some potatoes planted. Got some potatoes here. Twelve, twelve hills of potatoes. They're coming along pretty good. This is my raised bed garden, a little ole garden I got last year and did a review on. And I uh, uh, got some onions and radishes in there. I probably shouldn't have grown them because I grew them last year. I like to rotate my crops, but they did so good I wanted to plant some more. And my plan is to hurry up and get these done probably this month and the next few weeks. These will be gone. I'll be eating them and uh, then I'm going to plant some flowers in here. So... I uh, just wanted to show you around a little bit. So this is how beautiful and calm it is out here today. I did have some other plans earlier and uh, kind of changed my plans. Uh, I don't really get into politics too much, but one thing I do talk about on this channel is the Second Amendment rights. And uh, the reason I didn't go to that event is because they don't allow modern firearms on the site on the grounds and uh, I'm uh, pretty strict I'm about not going anywhere where they don't allow me to use my Second Amendment rights um, if you ever notice whenever all these shootings and stuff happen just about every single one of them is in a no gun zone and uh, it's a good place to stay out of and uh, as you can see with this thing with Bud Light and stuff going on um, people's voices do make a difference and if everybody sticks together uh, things can change. Uh, I'm not saying what what you should stick together on. That's up to your choice and stuff. But um, stick together and uh, we can make a difference in this world. A lot of people think nothing can be done, but it can. Um, but people need to stick together to get it to be done. So anyways, uh, I didn't go to that. Uh, some people might call me pig-headed. Uh, but um, it's my choice and uh, that's why I didn't go to that uh, but anyways I want to leave you here with this beautiful view and uh, thanks for tuning in to my vlog today and let me show you around and hopefully in a few weeks I can bring you back and uh, show you a lot of the stuff growing and uh, show you what it looks like been doing the old back to Eden garden for quite a few years now it is kind of hard sometimes to get wood chips um, but uh, that's, I did take me a little longer this year than normal. So I guess maybe next year I gotta get working on that a little quicker or maybe try to get some in the fall or something. Uh, but anyways, thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you on the next Wisconsin Greg Show. Take care everyone, bye now.